We're kind of the anchor store of downtown, if you will. Drive through downtown Elk River and you've driven by Kemper Drug. So it's been a pharmacy downtown for more than 100 years. Many of the staff knew many of the customers on a first name basis. But March brought an end to Deborah Liedahl's business. So unfortunately, insurance companies have started working with what we call pharmacy benefit managers or PBMs and their business model is to literally pay pharmacies pennies to fill prescriptions, which just isn't sustainable. This story, though, doesn't stop here. It brings us just up the road to Zimmerman. Well, we're in my garage and we have the Kemper drug sign. Patrick Anderson is going to need a bigger garage. Well, I love Minnesota companies that the history behind it. I love saving the history, especially this. I wanted to make sure this stayed in the area. Even before Kemper's closing, Patrick had his eye on buying the 600 pounds of steel wrapped in porcelain sign from the 40s. And it was no easy task to take it home. We had to get street permits. We had to go do all that street closures. Very nervous. I was very, I literally was on top of the roof saying, don't drop, don't drop, don't drop. Patrick plans to get the neon redone. But each one of these is $50. And display it in his yard. And if the city allows it, we time it up with the street light at night. Bringing this story back to Elk River. So the whole experience of closing has been pretty awful. Um, Goodbyes are never easy. But the day that Patrick was here was really fun. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but saving the sign makes this somber story a little bit brighter. Because it's a way for the Kemper legacy to live on through someone who's excited about it. Yes. Yeah. There's a lot of people that like this corner, like the water tower and the Kemper sign, like that is Elk River in their mind.